This is my homemade uh, dust collector for my shop that I made out of a bunch of junk that I have lying around. It's made out of a blower motor, a, a filter from a water pump, some heating and ventilation uh, metal tubing, a dryer hose, a paint bucket from Orchard Supply, and some wood. The main part of it, of course, is, is the blower itself. It's a radial blower that's mounted on the lid of the paint bucket, which you can see here. And what happens is when the blower is running, of course, it's drawing air up from this side and blowing it out this big metal hose over here. This is attached to the lid of the paint bucket with a piece of wood and the filter from the water pump, which is what this thing is, is screwed onto the bottom. And I use the filter from the water pump to support a furnace uh, filter that I wrap around here, which I'll show in a minute. So, and this prevents the uh, filter furnace from getting sucked up into the blower. The reason I'm using a uh, radial blower like this is because, first of all, I had it lying around. Secondly, radial blowers build up a lot of static pressure so they can blow against uh, a resistance really well or in this case it can suck against a resistance really well so as the filter gets dirty it still has some uh, reasonable airflow. Another advantage to using a blower motor is that the uh, motor itself is not in the air path so that uh, when it's drawing air through in this case through this filter up into the centrifugal force portion and then blowing it out this this metal hose, the dust and the dirt that's in the air is not being blown over the motor, which is different from a, a fan that has blades on it, for instance, where the motor's in the center of the fan and the air is passing over it. That would just cause the motor to fill up with dust and eventually burn up, I guess. So this sits on top of the bucket. When it's turned on, it's drawing air from the air conditioning or from the uh, dryer hose snaked over on the left there and into the bucket where it hits the uh, furnace filter and it's captured and falls down into the bucket. The rest of the air then goes out the silver hose in the back and out the vent in my garage. So again the, the dust is being drawn up through the, the white hose, the uh, heater hose or clothes dryer hose goes into the bucket where the dust is removed then it comes out of the bucket through the silver hose this air conditioning duct hose and then this attaches to the end of this box that I built this box uh, bolts over the vent in the side of the garage and goes to the outside so that the air flowing out of the silver tube here goes into the box and out the side of the house to be dispersed by the birds and the bees. That's pretty much uh, everything there is to the homemade dust collector system. You can go to my blog at autobelvin.blogspot and see more about this. There's a link to it in the video and uh, in the notes on uh, the YouTube channel. The last part of this that I haven't shown yet is the actual filter and I use this uh, this kind of filter that you can get as a, a cheap replacement uh, at Orchard Supply again uh, for your furnace that helps take out particulate matter in the airstream. And what I do with this is I, I wrap it around the end of the filter part for the pump, this part here, and put a couple rubber bands around it and pinch it off so that the air has to pass through this filter through there on its way out. And that's all there is to it.